really a lot on the line. It's East versus West. It'll be Seattle to kick off. New England to receive as week 13 of Major League Rugby continues. Oops. Goes high. As now the Sea Wolves will look to push this ball down. Be on thighs. Okay, use it now. Use it now. Ball spills out, bounces off the leg there. With Morris Lommy now comes down. Yamada turns back inside, a big opening, and what a first touch it is for Footy. He dots it down, seven points. The Seawolves forget the coast-to-coast -coast trip. They are on fire here. About that man, Footy, today, and he said it's his awareness, his vision on the field, and watch the decision here. Could have been intercepted by Morris Lome, but the decision to come back on the angle here. He sees the space, change of direction. Great move, great communication also from Futi. Between these sides, obviously, Billy Tolitahu uh, and now Stefan Kutsi signed last week. Both former Seawolves find themselves playing for the Free Jacks as Hutting makes a long run down the middle of the field. Hutting looking for some support. What a start this is by Seattle. Stay, stay. As they come wide. Morris Lommy. Give a number advantage, high tackle. Holden loops that one wide to Walker. Walker. Walker, no mistake. Seven points to three. Seattle in the lead as we take a look at our Rhino rugby keys for the game, Brian. Fine. Six. Well, is in now for Poland. He floats this one to Barlow. Barlow midfield. Picks up Lukani Bow. Well handled though. It's now the free jacks inside Seattle's 22. Looking for their opening try of this game. Poland feigns to his right, chooses to come back to Walker on the left. It's Morris Lomi now. Quick ball here for Walker to play with. Goes wide, Johnston. Feels the heat coming in from Footy and does well to step off his left. Wilgeny well, Bow, he'll do it all himself down the short side as he crawls towards the try line. Now Poland will go quick. Another charge here for the Free Jacks. Walker, crossfield kick. No one at home. Mitch Wilson's at home. Welcome back, Mitch Wilson. A five pointer for the flying winger. And the Free Jacks, they take their first leave this afternoon. He communicates with Wilson, he knows it's on, and puts up an absolute perfect kick. Wilson has all day. Walker, look at that. Little reverse swing there on the kick. No mistakes, 10 points to 7. Goes down, penalty goes to Seattle. Three. Throw goes over the top. In the waiting hands of Malcolm. Another team who finds Neil. Yamada with some space out wide. Akito Yamada picks up Tame Avina, and now Tame Avina with space in front. Barlow comes across in cover. They bundle him into touch. And what they've done on a grassroots level to grow the game right there in Massachusetts is amazing. They, there are fans in the stands with Free Jack Inc. They've got tattoos now. Lots of season tickets been sold. The game's blowing up. It's great to see. That ball has blown up now as the Seawolves looking to spoil the Free Jacks party here. Manoa, the man who knows a thing or two about World Cups as well. Picks up Tucker. Beyond step, 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 step. Short ball, hard line. Oh, Tammy Avina's come off the wing. He ran 60 and was denied. He's run about 60 inches there to get that try. And the Seattle Seawolves, they reclaim the lead 12 points to 10 after 23 minutes. The number seven, Joe Johnston. 
on the way in. Almost down on all fours, trying to find a grounding. You don't see it, you can't call it. Not much of a protest from Joe Johnson. This one goes against the Free Jacks. Now Poland with the advantage. Walker goes cross field. A little high there. Barlow has to wait. A little stutter step. Barlow back inside kick looking for his target in five. Neil though, a big presence. Tucker at the top. Now Alatimu breaking tackles. One, two, and now the offload. Alatimu. On a lower, finally. Picks up the bouncing ball. As Seattle pushed this right side again inside from Smith to Hutting. Yep. Oops. Attacking in front of the goalpost now, Seattle. With Smith, plays out the back to Neil. Quick hands. Oh, Tammy Ivina. It's too easy. The ball from Ross Neal was pitcher perfect. And Tammy Ivina will dot it down right next to the post. Well, we, we talked earlier about Alatimu. Seattle playing in tight spaces, and then the pass across. Look at that beautiful flat pass, and Yamada does a great job of not catching that ball. Walker at the back. Lomi, oh, what a ball from Morris Lomi. Kunradi, he's got support. Oh, he doesn't pass to Poland. There's Poland. Long flat pass, picks up Johnston. Johnston, he breaks free. Johnston into the 10 now. Ball is in here for New England. They come wide. That one tipped, but are not tipped enough as Barlow. The flat pass finds the winger. This prolific try scorer adds another to his tally for 2021. Release all the way to the corner, and that leaves Barlow out there on his own. It's a perfect pass. As well, 4th of July weekend. That would be a big one. That one overthrow and Tolly Tahu against his old side. They were beaten at the death by one of their former players last week, Seattle. Oli Khalifi for the Warriors. Could Tolly Tahu drive the dagger this week? Tolly Tahu. Oh, he is inches from the line. Now, New England will go again with the forwards. They have the advantage. There it is, Peter Janssen. He stretches out. What a try for New England. The standings come up, the importance. It's there, and they respond immediately. It's though they saw. And gets the line. Watch the angle here. One more phase. They need to find the sideline, and Walker does just that. He's kicked that to New Hampshire. And now... The Free Jacks, they will pick up four points for the win. They stay in the hunt on the east. It's not a bonus point, Brian.